Bismillahirrahmanirrahim yang berusaha Puan Yasmin binti Kamarudin, Timbalan Pegawai Pendidikan Daerah Sektor Pembelajaran PPD Petaling Perdana, yang berusaha Puan Nurlina On Abdullah, Pegawai SISC Plus Bahasa Sektor Pembelajaran PPD Petaling Perdana, Pembentang Jemputan Webinar Dr. Teh Pei Ling dan Puan TV Subramaniam, Barisan Rakan Pendidik, dan seterusnya hadirin dan hadirat sekalian. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Selamat sejahtera dan salam Malaysia prihatin kepada semua yang sedang mengikuti webinar yang dibawa secara langsung anjuran unit bahasa sektor pembelajaran PPD Petaling Perdana Selangor dengan jalinan kerjasama Akademi YouTuber Malaysia, EDD Malaysia dan Kelab Guru Malaysia. Bagi pihak penganjur program, majlis berbesar hati mengucapkan ribuan terima kasih dan mengalu-alukan kehadiran semua hadirin ke webinar From the Classroom to Home Based Learning Siri 1. Bagi mendokong dasar memartabatkan bahasa Malaysia memperkukuh bahasa Inggeris MBM MBI, webinar ini akan dimulakan dengan bahasa Melayu diikuti bahasa Inggeris pada sesi pembentangan. Bersyukur, ki, bersyukur kita kehadrat ilahi kerana walau diduga dengan penularan wabak COVID-19 namun dengan limpah kurnianya dapat kita bersua secara dalam talian pada hari ini bagi menjayakan program ini. Hadirin sekalian, besar harapan kami agar sidang hadirin dan hadirat untuk terus bersama kami sehingga ke penghujung program. Pautan kehadiran, e-sijil dan SPL KPM PPD Petaling Perdana akan diberikan di penghujung webinar dan perlu diisi dalam masa 30 minit sebelum pautan tersebut ditutup. Tontonan puan-puan sekalian, majlis mempersilakan yang berusaha Puan Nurlina Un Abdullah, pegawai SISC Plus Bahasa Sektor Pembelajaran PPD Petaling Perdana Selangor untuk menyampaikan ucapan beliau. Dipersilakan puan. Assalamualaikum dan selamat petang diucapkan kepada para hadirin semua. Terima kasih um, pengacara majlis ataupun jurulatih saya uh, yang tersayang, Puan Ahmadi Filza binti um, Abindi. Dari um, saya selaku SISC Plus atau bahasa dari PPD Petaling Perdana sangat bangga dengan um, Guru-guru saya, guru latih saya yang uh, berjaya mengumpulkan, menganjurkan webinar ini. Webinar ini um, di, diilhamkan kerana memahami, memandangkan situasi guru-guru sekarang yang ramai di petani perdana dan juga di Selangor dan di seluruh negara yang menghadapi uh, PDPR dan juga perlu melalui pencerapan yang memerlukan uh, SKPMG 2 standar 4 yang memerlukan gabungan uh, PEK 21, PEK 21 serta KIPAT. Jadi uh, bagaimana kita nak membantu guru-guru dengan memberi idea-idea uh, gambaran terbaik kepada anda semua. Jadi Petani Perdana sangat berbangga mempunyai satu pasukan yang sangat besar guru-guru ya, um, yang sentiasa sudi uh, berkongsi pengalaman mereka, idea-idea mereka dan webinar ini akan mempunyai siri, uh, lima kali siri dan setiap dua minggu dengan mempaparkan beberapa idea yang memudah akan memberi membantu guru-guru untuk melaksanakan PDPR yang lebih berkesan Uh, bukan hanya dari segi pengajaran pem, tetapi juga dari segi pengurusan. Jadi dalam keadaan kita sekarang perkongsian kemahiran, perkongsian ilmu, perkongsian pengalaman, rang, um, rangkaian jalinan dan jaringan, rangkaian um, perlu dimantapkan untuk menjadikan Uh, suasana uh, pengajaran guru-guru lebih uh, lebih menyenangkan, lebih seronok dan kita akan lebih kental 
ingat tuan-tuan dan puan-puan um, tugas kita sebagai guru, tugas kita sebagai uh, warga rakyat kita jangan terlalu tertekan tetapi jangan lupa untuk dan jangan lupa untuk enjoy um, apa yang kita tengah sedang lakukan demi anak-anak murid, demi anak-anak kita dan dengan itu saya um, harapkan kita akan sentiasa berhubung antara satu sama lain jadi sebelum saya mengakhiri ucapan saya, saya ingin mengucapkan terima kasih kepada Dr. T. P. Ling dan Puan T. V. Subramaniam, jurulatih saya dan juga jurulatih-jurulatih yang akan ke, ke utara, uh, ke udara lepas selepas untuk sesi-sesi yang lain. Terima kasih kepada semua guru-guru, terutamanya daripada um, guru-guru bahasa Inggeris, daripada petani perdana dan guru-guru dari seluruh negara secara amnya. Terima kasih banyak-banyak. Semoga uh, sesi ini diberkati ilahi dan akan berjaya uh, membantu anda semua. Terima kasih. Baik, majlis merakamkan ucapan eh, terima kasih kepada Puan Nurlina Un Abdullah atas ucapan beliau sebentar tadi. Baik, hadirin dan hadirat sekalian, tuan-tuan dan puan-puan, majlis seterusnya mempersilakan yang berusaha. Puan Yasmin binti Kamarudin, Timbalan Pegawai Pendidikan Daerah Sektor Pembelajaran PPD Petaling Perdana Selangor untuk menyampaikan ucapan. Dipersilakan, Puan. Uh, terima kasih ya, uh, Puan Amalti Filza. Uh, dan juga terlebih dahulu saya ucapkan selamat petang uh, kepada semua yang ada bersama-sama saya petang ini Puan Norlina, uh, Puan Nur Fazila, Dr. T dan Puan Tevi ya. uh, dan saya percaya saya dipahamkan bahawa uh, ada ramai lagi bersama-sama dengan kami pada uh, slot uh, petang ini ya. Uh, terlebih dahulu saya mengucapkan terima kasih kerana melibatkan saya dan saya minta maaf kalau di antara apa yang saya akan tuturkan sebentar nanti saya campur aduk sedikit dalam bahasa Inggeris ya. Okey, uh, mula-mula sekali tahniah dan syabas kepada orang kuat di belakang uh, ke- penghasilan modul ini yang bertujuan untuk membantu uh, anak-anak semasa waktu uh, laksana, dilaksanakan PDPR. Okey, uh, saya mohon supaya semua yang terlibat ya untuk mengguna modul tersebut sehabis baik. Alright, sebab uh, kita kena fikirkan as a teachers we have to reinventing Okay, we have to reinventing, uh, recoining, name it lah ya. Apa saja approach atau apa method untuk membantu anak-anak semasa uh, COVID-19 melalui uh, sama ada dulu kita panggil uh, PDPC, sekarang kita PDPR ya. So, gunakan modul tu sehabis baik dan saya percaya modul yang dihasilkan ini merupakan modul yang self-explanatory. Meaning here, the students they can use the module dari muka surat pertama hingga terakhir dan mereka boleh mendalami sesuatu topik itu dan at the end of the day objektifnya ialah mereka fasih dan faham topik tersebut. So itu adalah konsep asal modul yang dihasilkan oleh uh, ahli keluarga uh, di bawah nama uh, uh, PPD Petali Perdana ya. Uh, dan saya juga mengharapkan bahawa gunakan kesempatan ini okey untuk lebih memberi peluang kepada kita untuk mengadakan a very good rapport between students dengan cikgu by using this module. Okay. Dan bukan sahaja antara guru dengan uh, cikgu tetapi di antara cikgu sendiri because I believe, okay, I have faith, okay, dekat luar sana saya percaya there are so many teachers with substance yang ada pengetahuan untuk menghasilkan module. So come and join us. Be part of us. Alright. So jangan simpan uh, senjata yang ada dalam diri kita itu, ilmu itu only for yourself. But please share with us. We need you at this particular moment. Dalam keadaan sekarang ni kami perlu kan semua orang untuk bergabung tenaga untuk membantu untuk menghasilkan modul because always think that the ones that are going to use the module they are our future leader these kids are our future leader if we did not help them kita tak bantu mereka okay maka kita sebenarnya patut rasa bersalah dan berdosa dalam hal ini so help them assist them by using any kind of methods any kind of module ke apa semua tetapi at the end of the day remember that this module okay akan membantu anak-anak menjadi anak yang holistic 
by using our particular module. It might seem very small. So, alam macam kecil sangat. Alam a very simple module. No, to us, yes, but not to the kids. To them, this module means a lot. So, always bear that in mind, ya. Yeah? Okay, saya so mengucapkan terima kasih. Uh, teruskan dengan webinar kita pada petang ini. Dan saya berharap at the end of the day, okay, akan memberi sesuatu sinar baru kepada anak-anak. Akan memberi satu harapan baru kepada guru-guru bahawa kita semua berada dalam satu situasi yang sama. Okay, maka bersama-samalah kita mengharungi uh, keadaan yang kita hadapi sekarang ini. Dan jangan kita bergerak secara silo. Dalam konsep ni tidak boleh berjaya sendiri. Kita nak bangun semua yang ada anak-anak yang ada di luar sana kita kena bangun bersama-sama. Okay terima kasih sekali lagi. Thank you. I love you all. Baik majlis merakamkan ucapan terima kasih kepada Puan Yasmin binti Kamarudin, Timbalan Pegawai Pendidikan Daerah Sektor Pembelajaran PPD Petaling Perdana atas ucapan beliau sebentar tadi. Baiklah tuan-tuan dan puan-puan untuk meneruskan sesi webinar pada hari ini, izinkan saya untuk meneruskan sesi dalam bahasa Inggeris. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to start the webinar with the first slot for today's session on how to implement student leadership during PDPR. So without further ado, let's welcome our presenter, Madam Tevi Subramaniam from SJKT FES Serdang to conduct the session. To you, Madam Tevi. Thank you so much, Juan uh, Amadi. Okay, a very good afternoon, everyone. I'm sure all of you would have just had your lunch and getting ready for a post-lunch nap, okay? Just give me a few minutes, friends. I have to share something which you will never find in internet. Okay, friends, uh, we all have been doing our best by incorporating varieties of fun digital tools as education has changed dramatically with the rise of e-learning, whereby teaching is undertaken remotely and on digital platforms. If you ask me, COVID-19 gave us the exposure about the new norm in education, as we have always been trying to make learning fun and effective through the use of technology. Uh, if you notice, we also observe that clever integration of games has demonstrated higher engagement and increased motivation towards learning, especially among younger students, making them truly fall in love with learning. So however, there is this one technique that you will never see online or videos about it. It is a simple technique, but creates a huge impact among every student. Student leadership, a monitor a day. That's what I'm going to share with you, friends. So stay with me. Let me share the slides on how I, do I go about it. Okay, let me share my, my screen. Okay, so the viewers, if you have any questions you would like to ask later on, you can just type it at the comment section. Yeah. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen and friends, how do we implement leadership? Self-confidence, motivation, self-respect, and the willingness to learn among our kids. I would like to... Uh, uh, say kids instead of pupils or students here, yeah? because when we say kids, we are more closer. There is no gap between teacher and students. So kids, okay? So, and as we all know that SKPM G2, standard 4.4, Guru sebagai pendorong, mendorong emosi, murid. How do we tap the emotion of the child? And Minda, how do we make them to ask questions, to know about their friends who are studying with them? Okay, so this is very important. We as teachers, we have to mendorong uh, emosi dan minda pelajar. And uh, for that note, I, I found out, and I would like to introduce to all of you that a monitor a day, a very beautiful and impactful technique, which I have been using, and I'm sharing my experience with you. Okay, if you look at here, don't forget to join our English class today. Our monitor has something to tell you. Okay, monitor of the day. Surprise, I just put here surprise. Okay, and then this is a poster. Let me go further about it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a monitor a day, a technique 
which gives every child a chance to lead, a chance to feel they are valued, a chance that they can also speak, a chance that their friends do listen to them and their voice has value, a chance for them to be in the limelight. Uh, if, you, if you notice, occasionally children feel disappointed, neglected or isolated when we are unable to see or contact everyone throughout our lesson. In reality, class will be dominated by a group of kids as they are good. Uh, am I right, friends? Okay, we know when we conduct classes, uh, only few of them will be talking and we can't see every one of them. So we can't neglect the smart one also. But what about the others? Okay. Uh, and um, student empowerment begins with quality communication. It does not happen automatically just because the subject is interesting or the platform is equipped with cutting edge tools. So that's where the monitor of the day comes in. And let me explain to you the difference between monitor, monitor in the real classroom and monitor in the virtual classroom. Well, at school, once a monitor is chosen, he cannot be replaced because he is required to purchase a tie, badge, vest, or another uh, uh, other unique attire according to the school rules. Yeah, he will serve for at least a year. Uh, but monitor in the virtual classroom, a child can take turn to become a monitor. Okay, it's an opportunity to honor or recognize all the students and give them their poster at the end of the year to preserve a lifelong memory. Why do I say poster? I showed you just now, right? The poster, it's like, uh, it's also a poster a day for a monitor a day, yeah? Okay, now, uh, these posters, I got it from uh, internet, okay? This is the poster about a uh, movie poster, and this is librarian, and this is what we can do, even for primary or secondary school. We can take the child's photo, and, and we can promote him if he likes uh, football, okay? Uh, the future football or if he likes to be a doctor we can ask him to wear something like that and then promote him promote okay this will create increase the self-confidence of the child create a poster to promote them okay we have to create the poster and blast in the class uh, class group one day before or a few days before if you have english lesson today you just appoint a monitor and then make a poster and blast in the group for the next lesson and this is, a, uh, I will share with you a few examples uh, for, of the monitor of the day. Like this one, I started with, hi friends, can you recognize me? Okay, like this boy, uh, he, uh, he sent me the picture when he was in standard one. So I just want to create a suspense among them. I really wish to see you all at 10, 20 a.m. So I want the kids to uh, speak, okay, uh, uh, who it could be, you know, something like that. It was really nice. We really had a great fun guessing and speaking about uh, this boy. And uh, this girl, monitor of the day, welcome. And I also, I would like to, I want to make different verses every day. So I told the kids, can we come up with uh, quotes, uh, a quote a day, in a poster a day for the monitor of the day? And they said, yeah, they can. And they, they found out they were uh, collaborating with their parents, with their family members. And they gave me this quote, good education is a foundation for a better future. They want me to type that, like this girl, she wants me to type this quote in her poster. And I told her, you have to explain what do you understand about that? And you wouldn't believe uh, friends over there, ladies and gentlemen. Kids are amazing. They can just come up with their ideas and, and they got some ideas from the parents. And we must understand learning is not only between the teacher and the students. It's also involves uh, the parents, whoever they meet. Okay? Like before, there's a proverb saying, it takes the whole village to raise a child. So when everyone gets involved, it, the learning will be very uh, meaningful. And this is another example. And she's a very quiet girl. I'm so surprised. And she can talk about holistic, the word holistic, like what um, Pon Yasmin said just now about the word holistic. And she said, education should be holistic. And I was, I was surprised. I said, what do you understand by the word holistic? And she gave her version of the word holistic. And they are only instead of five. You know, we, we should not uh, penalize if they say something wrong. It is okay. It is okay to make mistake. I'll tell them it's okay. Not everyone can speak sometimes. And this monitor, when I introduce the monitor, I will tell, I'll tell the name. I'll respect the child. I'll tell that, okay, today we have a sadhana as our monitor and the floor and the platform is your sadhana. And she will introduce herself and she'll talk about the monitor of the day. And she will also tell the rules of the classroom. 
all the rules will be told by the monitor of the day. Sometimes we need uh, different people to tell, yeah? So when the peers tell about the rules, it is really effective. In my ex experience, I noticed that, okay? And then this is uh, another girl. I was really, she said, education is a gift that none can take away. Our friends, and this girl, she told her friends that, friends, make sure you come to class every day because no one can steal the education from you. Can you imagine that, friends? It all came from these kids, not from me. And uh, this quiet girl, uh, this is her um, uh, quotes. And this girl, uh, she said, if you cannot do great things, do small things in a great way. And she told her friends, she said, friends, you don't have to go and help your mom to work. Just come to the class. That is a great thing that you can do. This came from this girl, Parimala. But of course, the English was in her language. She said, come to class every day. Uh, that is great, you know, something like that. that. That's okay. Let the child to communicate, to speak with the other friends. And all the others were uh, uh, praising, oh, good, you did a great job. So that, that builds a self-confidence of the child. They are the future leaders. This is how I feel, you know, uh, the leadership is being instilled in them now. And then this girl, monitor of the day, message from the monitor, bring your textbook and English book one, be on time for the class, maintain a neat and tidy appearance, have a healthy breakfast before the class, see you all later. Can you imagine that all this came from these kids? And as I want different, different verses, and I also came up with this uh, idea where, welcome little one, do you know him? I want kids to guess who it could be. He loves to play football. He loves chicken burgers. He loves reading. Join me tomorrow at 10, 20 a.m. You know, so it was really fun. And this, I just uh, uh, purposely took, uh, the, the girl sent me this photo. And who am I? I wake up at 7 a.m. I, I have a big sister. I always keep my house clean. My best friend's name is Jakti Fanon. I love my teacher so much. Okay. So, and the kids really had great time guessing and knowing about the child. That's the most important thing, knowing about the child, which will boost the self-confidence of the child. And this is also another technique which was really useful, this poster, just the eyes, guess who, yeah? And this boy, he, he doesn't want to give his photo, he feels shy, but he sent me this picture and he did not join the class for quite some time due to some problem. And now he said, I'm back, you know, like in the movie, I'm back or coming soon. And you will be much more better than my, you will have much more better idea than I am, ladies and gentlemen out there. So this monitor of the day is a wonderful technique where you can do a lot of things. We can also teach adjective by using the poster. We can put a lot of adjective there. We can use as a teaching tool also. Kids um, uh, will feel valued. And then the next step, give the freedom to kids to create their own poster. I want the kids to create their own poster. So I told them, would you all like to try? And they said, yes. And this was, uh, was tried by this girl. And she said, it always seems impossible until it's done. This poster was done by her and she wrote this. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the year, I want to print their poster and give them as a reward for the great job done by them. Because we won't know when they go to the classroom, they will not get the chance to uh, be a monitor. But do you think, is it possible for, the, uh, for you to make everyone a monitor? I'm sure it is possible. Let's see if you have 45 students in a class, you just need 15 weeks. In a week, let's say you have three English lessons. In 15 weeks, 45. 45 lessons, yeah? In 45 lessons, 45 students will get a chance. So all the 45 students will get to be a leader, will get to be a monitor who is a little leader in the classroom. So it's possible. Probably uh, you can go on the second round, but the first round itself will make a huge impact. Ladies and gentlemen, I really, uh, I am so happy trying this method and I really wish to share with all of you. And I, I hope, you know, you had a great time. I mean, I hope you would have uh, get something from me. Wish you all the best. Thank you so much. With that, I would like to thank all of you and may God bless all of you. Thank you so much. Thanks. All right. Thank you to Madam Tevi Subramaniam. So if any of the viewers would like to ask any questions related to the topic, you can uh, type the question at the chat box, if any. All right. Uh, for As you can see, Madam Tevi, at the chat box, it's in, ah, yeah, we have one question. Eh, 
Oh, uh, she got disconnected. All right. Um, it's like this. Okay. Uh, we will we will keep the uh, question over here. Okay. We will try to get uh, Madam Tevi back to the studio. Once she's in, then we will uh, going to look at this um question. Is she in, Madam Tevi? She is back in the studio. Okay. Wait. 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 Yeah. All right. Okay, Madam Tevi, welcome back. <laughs> All right, Madam yeah. David. So we have a question here from um, Chegu Najwa Arifa. Um, yeah. Can you share how do you determine who'd be the monitor for each week? Okay, great. Thank you so much, Madam Najwa. Uh, you can ask the kids who wants to be the monitor, and they they will be like, "Teacher, I want to be. I want to be." And I also will tell, okay, if you want to be a monitor, make sure uh, you have to come to the class promptly. Sure, teacher, I will come to the class. You know, give me chance. Give me chance. If you try, you will see every day. Just to become a monitor, they will come to the class, and just to speak. If you try upon uh, Najwa, that's amazing method. You will really enjoy. And you, you, you will be better than me. You will come up with a creative idea, yeah. Like make a poster, like movie poster, add bag with nice uh, style or something like that. It's amazing technique. Wish you all the best for Nashua. All right, thank you, Madam Tevi. So this is a comment from uh, Madam Siti Chegu Siti Nur Hafiza. I think this is a great idea to motivate the students to participate participate and loved it okay the key point here is to trust our own students give them the chance that they need even though that we are doing this online right now right okay yeah, we have absolutely. another one and, mm -hmm. and we will not be able to call everyone during the classroom so when we do this everyone get a chance to be in the limelight Mm, I agree with you, Madam TV. Okay, thank you very much, Madam TV. Do you have anything to share before we go to the next slot? Okay, I don't have. I'm so happy everyone is telling it's a good idea. Yes, actually, it's a good idea. And may God bless everyone. Kids are going to have fun time with you. Thank you so much. That's all for today. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, Madam TV. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we are going to um, go to the next slot of our webinar. Before that, allow me to briefly introduce the speaker. Okay, Dr. Teh Peiling is an English language teacher at SMK Taman Desa Minium, Sri Kembangan Selengo. She has more than 18 years of teaching experience in the English language. She holds a Bachelor of Education TESOL from University of Exeter, United Kingdom, Master in Management Educational Administrator and, uh, sorry, Educational Administration and PhD in Educational Management at University Putra, Malaysia. She believes that a teacher's commitment is the key to school capacity building. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Dr. Te Pei Ling. Hi, Doctor. Hi, Amadi. Thank you. Thank you for the short introduction. All right. Okay. Can you put on my slide, please? Okay. One moment. Okay. Right, today, the title of this sharing, this is a sharing session. Okay. Right. Virtual reward system in remote teaching and learning. As you all know, we are all in this remote teaching and learning. We don't see them face to face, but we see them through our monitor, you know, our laptop. You know, sometimes you also use your phone to get in touch with your students, your pupils. All right, next slide, please. Okay, as a starter, so you love starter, right? Let's brain bloom. People say that we don't brainstorm anymore, we brain bloom. Let it bloom. Okay, uh, next, please. Next. How do you attract your pupils' attention? Can you please quickly type in the chat, in the chat box in your YouTube there? I can see here. Hi, hello everyone, yes. How do you attract your pupils' attention during your online classes? How do you attract them? Okay, yes. we're waiting for the response. Yes. We're waiting uh. for the response in here. Okay, how do you attract them? Oh, we, we have, have here. 
Yeah, from Cikgu Nageswari Quizzes. Okay, play music. Cikgu Maldiati, play music. Okay, ah, start with um, um, games. Cikgu Mina. Yes, watch videos. And then, yeah, we also yeah. have watch video from Cikgu Sarah. Okay, Cikgu Vanita. Oh, yes. Okay. Videos. Okay. How Questions from this game? one. Hmm. Cikgu yeah. Mahadevi. Oh. Huh. All right. Thank you. Videos and song. Okay. Hangman. Okay. I like the hangman. Okay. Next, please, Amadi. So again, okay, yep. this is a type. Okay, next week. Okay. How to <laughs> okay. attract your people's attention? Next. Use a zoom filter. You know, use a zoom filter. But if, if we are using Google Meet, we don't have that filter thing. But if you are using Zoom, sometimes some school they use, uh, you know, when you have certain class, uh, you can use Zoom. You have the Bojo pin, you can wear the cap. Okay, next. Yeah. Okay, this one. Yeah, use attractive virtual background. Okay, if your internet coverage is strong. Like, for example, I have a virtual background here. This is not my house. Okay, this is just a virtual background. Okay, I, I received a question before that my students asked me, teacher, I say yes, is that your house? I say no, I wish it's my house. That is my dream house, I say. So you can use a virtual background to attract your students' attention. If you are teaching, like for example, this is a Medica month, right, Patriotic, you can even put the flag behind you. So that is to attract their attention and have some sense of humor. Okay, inject some sense of humor during your online classes so that will keep them awake. Next, please. Next, Amadi. Thank okay, you. it's the oh, humor. Oh, one more. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this one. Right. Yeah, take five to avoid uh, Zoom fatigue. Yes, we have been you now sitting in front of the computer, in front of the screen time, and we also call it, they call it as the digital lethargic. Yes, so you give them the take five. Okay, even take five, okay, go and get a drink. You can go to the toilet if your class is more than one hour, okay, because in my secondary school, um, SMK, we have one and a half hour class, so I do give them like take, take five, okay, take a short, short break. Yes, uh, next please. Insert a short activity like waiting time for the fast finisher. You know, the fast finisher, they tell you, teacher, finish, finish. But of course, they won't tell you on using the online. They will just put in the chat, keep teacher, I finish. So for the fast finisher, you can give them some short activity. For example, give give me some uh, three examples of adjective to, uh, to describe people. Okay. Three adjectives to describe people or three adjectives to describe an object. So you give that little, little small activity to the, the pupils who are fast finishers. Because if you don't engage them okay, for the fast finisher, they will just stray away. They will just go to the next tab, go into YouTube, or go to the Mr. Google and do something else. So you need to engage them. You need to attract their attention. Okay, next please. Okay, always practice differentiation learning strategies. We know that our pupils are different. They have different background. Okay, they have learning. Some of them, they have different uh, style of learning and things like that. So we need to practice differentiation learning strategies. Next. Virtual theme day. Uh, this is very suitable for primary school and also for secondary school pupils. Okay, dress up and use props. For example, favorite book day. Okay, okay, tomorrow, please. And I want to show, want you to showcase your favorite book. Okay, what have you been reading? Okay, it can be comic book, no problem. How about favorite toy? They can showcase their toy for standard two, standard three. Okay, even from one pupils. Okay, they will show you their their belongings. Travel day. Okay, let's go. Uh, since that we cannot fly physically, but we can fly virtually. Let's go to Japan. So bring your students to Japan with the Japan, some of the attractive background, okay? So bring them. So you can use that virtual theme day so they can wear certain things like if you are talking about celebrations, okay, Hari Raya time, let's dress up, you know, wear your baju kurung and things like that. So they will enjoy, they will feel so... Um, Engage with the lesson. 
and one more is a pajama day yeah because sometimes your class is so early okay don't worry class tomorrow when you wake up don't no need to change just wear pajamas and come to class we have a pajama day so they will feel that enjoy it. Wanna see what are you wearing? Are you wearing a, you know, what kind of uh, pajama? You know, or is it a t-shirt? Or is it more than that? And perhaps Disney World as well. Disney World, okay, dressed like a princess. If you don't have that costume, doesn't matter. You can tie the hat, braid it, and things like that. Wear the pin, okay. Next, give treat like spin the wheel. When you spin the wheel, you know the wheel of names. Okay, you can put selection of songs there. Okay, tomorrow, which songs do you want to listen? To? Okay, who wants to spin the wheel? And your people say, me, 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 me. Okay, all right. Okay, now, uh, I need. Okay, you get to spin the wheel. So actually, you control, right? You click. They think it. Tomorrow, we listen to this song. So they get so excited. Or do funny actions with the wheels. Put funny action there. Okay, laugh loudly. Clap your hands, wear a funny hairdo, you know, and a couple of games, things like that. So be creative. Next, please. This is one example that I carry out with my pupils for speaking lessons. Okay, as you can see, we have like your first, uh, your dream, your dream holiday, your last holiday, your favorite food, your favorite drink. So when I have all this the topic there and like spin the wheel. They got so excited. They were like, oh, no, no, I want, to, I want the easiest question, you know. But the view will decide what question they are getting for the speaking uh, activity. Uh, for those who are, those who are, we call that they are smart, you know what they will do? They will prepare all the answer for all the questions there. So no matter which question they get, they know how to answer. So what do you get? Your pupils get to learn to answer all the different types of questions. And this is a very good practice ground for Form 1, Form 2, Form 3 as well, whereby they practice their speaking skill. Even for primary school, Standard 6, right, UPSR, they don't have UPSR anymore, but they still need to enhance, okay, improve their speaking. So this is one of the ideas that you can tap into. Thank you. Next, please. Right. So 10 ways to reward remote pupils. Before flexible yeah we have to be flexible because we don't know what our pupils are facing okay some of them they have problems they cannot wake up they don't have enough devices and things like that be flexible if they cannot come online do encourage them to go for offline classes okay next know your pupils i'm sure by now now it's already august you know that but um you don't we don't see them, but we know who they are with their results, with the response. This uh, student is, uh, this pupil is less active. Another one is very active, very vocal, you know, uh, it's a fast finisher. So you know your pupils. Next, please. Offer learning opportunities. Okay. Why do we give rewards? Why do we give virtual rewards? Okay, I will show you later why. We give them the opportunity to learn according to their own pace okay if it's a fast finisher yes they can do more okay if it's the other way around okay then you can should guide them guide them give them more guidance and uh, show them the path next please give timely timely praise and the virtual gifts okay don't always say, okay, you are very good, you are such a good student. You, if you say that every single day or every single time you see them, it does not work. But you need to give timely, okay? If they deserve the praise, they deserve the gift, the virtual gifts, give it to them. Next, please. Stay connected. How do you stay connected? Their birthdays, national celebrations. For example, this month is Madika month, Independence month. Let's sing. Okay, let's sing together Jalo Gemilang. So national celebrations, okay, and wellness. Okay, be concerned, you know, take care of their wellness as, as well. Ask about them, you know, how's everyone in the family. So you stay connected with your pupils because you are in front of the computer like me. I'm now in front of you. I can't see you, but we can feel the connectivity if 
you are writing something on the screen there. I can read what you are reading, uh, right, typing there. So that is a sort of like a communication between, you know, like two ways communication. Next, please. Six, encourage peer-to-peer -peer recognition programs like class icon of the man. In my school, we do have class icon of the man. The most, uh, the, the most attendance, okay? and good behavior. So we have the class icon and the subject teacher will vote. So this is a very good program that you actually motivate the pupils to come online to learn, yeah? Because you recognize, okay, their effort to wake up early in the morning, their effort to come online, their effort to finish up the homework and things like that. Next, please. Build the team spirit. You must show our pupils that they are not alone. They are not alone, you know. They are already in such a situation that they are alone in, in what the manner they are learning. They have no friends to talk to face to face. So you need to build the team spirit. Right now, our Google Meet, we have the function of breakout rooms. So this is the best time for you to learn and use the breakout room. Put them into small groups four in one breakout rooms or five pupils in one breakout room. So let them have a chance to speak. Yeah, I've tried that a few times. They enjoy it. Sometimes they don't speak, but they type in a chat box because I mix them, boy and girls together, two girls and two boys together. <laughs> so they, they, they feel shy, but they still speak using the chat box. But at least they're enjoying themselves, you know, they are communicating, build the team spirit. After that, they come back to our, my big room Okay, okay, now from the room one, please present. Choose someone to present, you know, what's your finding? Next, please. Thank you. Number eight, provide a personal touch selectively or randomly. Use, for example, virtual lunch. You can have lunch with your pupils in front of the, your screen. Okay, let's have lunch together or snack. So when you're eating, sharing, then you can have short uh, conversation with your pupils, you know, how's everything in your house, you know, how's your, how are your parents, um, if those parents are working far away, you know, how are they doing and how about the grandparents. So have some kind of a personal touch. You can have virtual lunch, but don't have lunch together too many, you know, maybe you choose five, okay, this week I have lunch with five pupils, next week maybe another five. So you can have like personal uh, time with your pupils. That is very good and it's actually is a form of a reward. Next please. Embrace diversity. As I mentioned just now, our pupils are very different. They have different background, different uh, race you know, and also culture. So we need to embrace and understand diversity, especially we are in Malaysia, yeah? Thank you. Next, please. So why give virtual rewards? Okay, so when we have the physical classroom, we can have the notice board, we give something, we praise them. But now they are, your pupils are in front of the screen. What do they get? Yeah, virtual rewards, it is an important part of behavioral management system. It is in the theory. How to do you control them? How do you manage their behavior? So it is a behavior management system by giving this virtual rewards. Next, please. It is August now. Remember, we started our online teaching, PDPR, since May. May, June, July, August. It's been four months now. It's August now. It is so routine if you do the same thing, same old thing during online classes. Okay, but sometimes my, my son, he told me, that teacher, so boring, same thing, you know, she will be saying, talking and talking all the time. So please teachers, it's time to do something different. Okay, don't do things you have been doing four months ago until now it's still the same thing. Okay class, please turn to page. Uh, 104, look at this question, okay, answer this. What do they get? They are looking at in front of the, you know, the screen, and this is what you've been telling them for four months. 
So it's time to do virtual rewards, okay? Get them to participate you know, during the classes and things like that. Yes, next please, Amadi. So how do we get your pupils to be responsive? Okay, I like the way just now Madam Tevi, you know, she shared about being the leader in class, select the monitor online classes, yeah? So next please. Virtual reward system is one of the ways. There are so many ways, okay? Engage their learning, achieve small goals, create a healthy, competitive environment. They would like to compete, you know, they like, you know, how many stars you get? How many circles, you know, some, how many rewards, how many tags you get? How many batches do you get? So they will compete with each other in the group, you know, in their class. Next, please. Virtual rewards in remote teaching and learning are confirmed. This is according to the research. They are the confirmed pointers that indicate individual success, okay? Don't, no need the big success, small little success, you know, small little success criteria, abilities and skills and interests in different learning settings. So it's according to your pupils, what they can do. Remember CFR aligned curriculum? We are tapping into what our pupils can do. So look at that and give them that virtual rewards because we are actually looking at Extrinsic, the outer, the external motivation, and also the intrinsic motivation. Okay, because there is an urge to learn. They want to learn. They are happy to learn. Learning is fun for them. Okay, if you are able to attract their attention. Next, please. Pupils get virtual rewards. What do I get as a teacher? Teachers? So what do you get? Well, okay, you achieve your learning standard, you achieve your learning objectives. Okay, what else do you get? It's actually a win-win situation, win-win strategy. Let me show you. Next, please. This is the one. As you know, it's already August of the year. This is the month of August. Next week is already September, October, and it's time for the open tap bill your principal, your GB, your Guru Basa, will come in, will walk into your virtual classroom to observe you, right? So you are safe because when you do virtual reward system in your class, what do you have? You already tap into 4.2.1. Memberi peluang kepada penyertaan aktif murid. Yes, check. 4.2.4. Mengawal komunikasi murid dalam PDPC, yes, check. Because you actually, once you are given the first reward, I'm telling you, the second pupils who, are, who want to answer the second question, and the third question, and the fourth question. And the, number two, mengawasi pelakuan murid, yes, behavior. We control the behavior. We can't king them, we can't scold them, okay? We can't reach them, right? But you can use the virtual rewards as the control to control their behavior. So mengawal pelakuan, yes, you have it. Check again. And mengunjukkan suasana pembelajaran yang menyeronokkan. It's fun. Learning is fun. When, you, when they look at the virtual rewards, they are happy because something that they can see. Imagine since April, I have been telling my pupils, you must do this, you know, this is PPD, PPD. I, have, I will take marks in your PPD. For them, I tell you, they just, for them, it's just BBD, three alphabet. That's it. They can't see anything. They, you don't show them the mark yet. Okay? They don't know what they get. They only know BBD. But if you translate what they have done into a virtual reward platform, they can see. And they know where they are. Not only they know where they are, you know where they are as well. Like just now, Dr. Amin has mentioned, about big data and small data, this is small data. Okay, when you have re virtual rewards, you know, you control them, how many stars they got, or badges they have. These are the small data that you have, you know how well that your pupils are, you know, they have achieved, how far, okay, have they gone to. Okay, and 4.4.1, you have Merangsang Murid Berkomunikasi, yes, you do. 
merangsang murid berkolaboratif dalam aktiviti when you put them into groups okay okay this group well done again give you a virtual reward again so they're happy next please not only that another one 4.4.2 memberi pujuan and galakan yes you're giving them motivation the praises for positive uh, action positive behavior virtual rewards we cannot buy them things but we give them virtual it costs you zero cost nothing it's free for you later i'll show you where to get the rewards and so on memberi penghargaan yes you do okay you give them the recognition you've done it you have done your presentation your speaking and whatsoever give them something memberi keyakinan yes again check prihatin terhadap keperluan like just now i said have virtual lunch with them Okay, be flexible. Yes, you are showing prihatin terhadap keperluan murid. Tick again. So, not only your pupils are happy, you are happy, your pentadbir, they are happy, the school is happy as well. Alright, this is some sort of a reverse psychology as well when you give virtual rewards. Next please. Now, how to give? Virtual rewards. Give them digital stickers. When you have class in the classroom, you give them right for, for example, for primary school pupils, standard two, standard three, you give them stickers, right? They have the sticker and things like that. But now we don't have it's virtual alamaya. So use Google Slide, okay? In the view mode for pupils, share the view link. Yes, please. Digital board with digital sticker. It is live. When you add on one sticker for them, they can see it. But for their, for their what do you call that, view, it's only view mode, yeah? Don't accidentally give them the edit mode, then they can add on their stickers on their own, all right? You have to be very careful. For a teacher, yes, you can edit, but for people, they can see, but they cannot edit, they cannot add on the stickers. Next, please. Form sticker banks. Do some research, okay? Form sticker bank your text bank, and also the batches bank. So you can create theme. For example, if you are teaching unit eight, what is it about? Is unit eight is about um, going, I don't know, for uh, foreign countries, you know, uh, tourism. So you collect the stickers, okay, put it in a, uh, your sticker bank. So when you're gonna use it for the whole month, you change the sticker. If you are using, using the same sticker, it will be quite boring. So you can change the theme of the sticker. Next, next please. Pupils earn tax, yeah. Reward tax or even the bread tax after a collection of digital stickers. 10 stickers change into one tag. They love the rewards, I'm telling you. Again, they want to change just like us, lah, you know. We are ladies, right? We love coupons <laughs> with all the small, small goodies, you know. You Oh, okay, 10 stickers you get to do, you get to change for something else. Okay, as you know, it's actually something different, you know, something fun for them. They are look, they will, they will look forward to your classes. Yes. Next, please. Okay. So in your text, you can have good listener, is writer, wow work. Okay. So etc. Next, please. Virtual batches. Okay. They earn batches. This is at the higher range, lah. Virtual batches. Next, please. How to use drag and drop. Can okay, remember I told you we need to create the sticker bank. So you just drag your sticker and drop it at the student's platform. So to use digital rewards in class, simply drag, drop the digital sticker icon located in a sticker bank to the reward area where pupils earn a compliment. Okay, why? How? Answering questions, quiz, quizzes, and things like that. Next, please. When all the stickers have been used, they have reached their goal. Yeah, you can change it to a reward tag, like those sound that I mentioned. Yeah, next please. Please note that in Google Slide, Google Slide does not allow you to move the object when in the presentation mode, but you must add, you must use the edit mode to drag and drop the movable items. Okay, the images there. Next please. Uh, this is some example. Okay, the first one here, this is the, the marble jar. You can just put 
marble in there okay how many marbles they get the color can indicate different different kind of uh, little goals digital reward you can even use uh, emojis our pupils they love emojis the smiley face and things like that yeah next please so ideas for google slide for virtual rewards okay the this one i'm showing you it's very suitable for primary school like apples on a tree next Fish in a pond, right? A reward board, just a reward board, like a parking lot, yeah? Next. Candies or cookies in a jar, give them cookies, okay? Popcorns bucket, how many popcorns they get, okay? Next. Flowers in a garden, okay? What kind of flowers do you like? Do you like tulips, sunflower, roses? Or just an award platform, insert star, tags and badges. This is uh, more suitable for the secondary school, you know, just uh, the simple one. You can create level one, two, and three. So put on your thinking cap, be creative, and come up and create a digital reward system, a virtual, virtual reward system in your class. You can even sit in a panel, English panel, and you can discuss with a Form 5 uh, coordinator, you know, discuss what kind of theme that you want to use. You can start next week. In September again yeah, you will see good responses from your pupils next please yeah for the elder ones you can just use the word platform insert star the text and patches next think what they like do they like superheroes or it's just a collection of emojis or icons maybe okay next Have different levels according to unit in the textbook. Okay, next. Okay, hands on. This is the part that is quite tricky because you are doing on the YouTube, right? So, uh, next, please. I will share my uh, this Google slide with you in in the YouTube the chat. Okay, so the, click on the Google links, Google slide link. Okay, make a copy and edit the file. Okay, one more. Next, please. Mm, wait uh. Okay. This one. Yeah, and one more time. All right. Mm, so that okay. is the link. So make your own digital reward, digital sticker, digital text, and digital badges. So um, after Amadi has finished this slide, I will show you another one. Uh, the my example, yeah. So let her finish because just now I faced the connectivity problem. That's the reason why I asked one Amadi to, you know, share the slide. Next, please. Ah, how to get images, the images, the cute, cute little stuff. So these are the two um, websites that you can go to, mycutegraphics.com and www.pixels.com. These are the licensed one, okay? I mean, it's free license. It's FOC, you can use it. Because when you copy and paste certain items, you know, or certain images or icons, Sometimes you may, you know, get yourself into trouble because of the license, uh, you know, images and things like that. So how to get free stuff? These are the two examples, yeah? Next, please. Share the Google Slide. So once you have prepared your Google Slide, set the share to view. Next, please. Pupils can see their virtual Oops. rewards, okay? Google Slide, so they will know their progress, and work on the stickers, tags, or batches. Next, please. Right. Okay. Recognition is the greatest motivator. So when you recognize them, you recognize their effort, you recognize, you know, the ability to, to finish the task that you have given them. So we give them virtual rewards. And we control and it's like a management for you as well. This is your classroom management virtually because you are moving from, as our title of today's webinar, moving from the classroom to the home-based learning webinars. Okay. So if you are the person who keep on talking and talking, teaching and teaching, you know, it's, it's kind of um, a routine. Okay? I'm, not, I'm not saying boring. It's kind of routine. But if you have virtual rewards for them, a system for them, that will bring out the difference in the learning. Okay, I'd like to share my uh, virtual thing. See if I can share. Hopefully, my line is fine now. Okay. Uh, 
This is the one. Okay. Can you all see now? Wait now. Uh. Right. Yes, is it on now, Amandi? Yep. All it's right. on the screen. Okay, thank you. The virtual reward system here. So we can put your name. So your class, this is my class, Five Effective English class. All right, I put this one, two, three because uh, they are, if, for example, if there are 30 pupils in your class, you just click number four. We go to number four. That is someone's name here. And this is their platform. This is their reward platform. Okay, so you put the stickers here, you put the um, batches here, or even the tags here. And here is for me to go back, right? So, for example, Ali is number two. So, click number two, you go to Ali. Ah, sorry, this is I. Okay, example. So, go back like this. So, this is a, a small system that I have built. Okay, and this is my class name list. So, I put them, see? So, you can have um, all this, like, you know, three times points. Great job. These are the stickers, the little, little stickers. And the theme that I use is the, this, uh, gum, you know, gummy ball. <laughs> so you can use like the tree, the apples in the tree. I'm sure you are more creative than I do. Okay. So look at this. See, you can have your sticker bank. We have your reward text bank. Super Rito, Super Rito. Okay. Way to go. 100% effort. Okay. Simply super. Fabulous work. So your pupils will be so motivated, yeah? They will love to come and join your online classes, I'm telling you. Reward batches, okay? Let's look at the cute, cute reward batches here. So of course, you need to name them, you know, what does this mean, yeah? Is it because of attendance or is it because of uh, being very helpful, attentive? So you name the, the batches here. These are some uh, sticker that I've uh, actually uh, took it from the internet. Star of the day, great job, and some stickers here. Okay, thank you. Amadi, can you please show my slide again? Oh, okay. I need to reshare. It's not done. <laughs> okay, so sorry. Oh, okay, 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 okay. It's actually Q and A now. Yeah. Oh, Q and A. All right, all right. Yes, because so I'm do I need to share? To uh, yeah, share please the Q and A mm. one. All right, wait up. Uh... Yes. Okay, teachers, if you have any questions for while waiting for me to reshare the slides, you can type the um, questions at the chat box, right? Okay, let me reshare the slide. I'm so sorry. Thank you. So I can All read. Right. I'm reading the comments now. This now was beautiful talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, share screen. I saw one teacher type about Joe. Uh, uh, all right. Okay. This one. Slide. Okay. Okay. Wait, uh. This is really okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. Just now I closed the tab. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But <laughs> the end now is. Okay. It's over there. Okay. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Any questions? Yes. The Q and A. So how do we? Well, you want to read the question? Okay. Any questions? Um. Okay. This is from. Madam Sarah, Sarah, how do we tackle a situation where students don't feel intrigued with the reward? How? Hmm, good yeah. question. Yeah, of course, when before you give them the reward, you need to explain to your pupils the meaning of the reward. Okay, is this for attendance or is it for the short activity? And you can tell that these are all virtual rewards. It's actually to, to encourage them, to motivate them. Okay, of course, uh, if you have pupils, I'm not sure your your talking about the pupils, primary school pupils or secondary school pupils. They may have different concepts. Primary school pupils, they love stickers. They love rewards. Secondary school, perhaps the boys say, ah, lah, you know, what for, you know, sticker is so kiddos, things and things like that. But you'd be surprised. Some they do. Because it's a kind, it's a type of recognition. Because you can change. Be creative. 
if you want to change, you can have 10 stickles equals to one uh, tag and five tags, you can give them a virtual food. Send them McDonald's, McDee's or a, cake, a slice of cake from Secret Recipe. So it's something that they get because if, we, they, if they are still stuck at home, so if their virtual rewards have changed into a tangible reward, something that you receive, that will create a kind of like, it's really a good motivation for them to keep learning and keep being active in class. Okay. Okay, we have one more over here from Madam Siti Akbar Leila. Most of the time, they are on mute and camera off, giving reasons might not working. La. So how? How do we overcome this problem? <laughs> okay, for secondary school, for my pupils, they are from four, from five. Uh, yes, they do give me this kind of, uh, you know, excuses. But I encourage them. You know, if they don't want to on their mic to speak, they can type it because if they type, they actually practice their writing skill. It is with grammar error or spelling error there. So slowly encourage them because if you want to get a special reward, special sticker, you need to switch on your, your put on your video and switch on your mic and speak. Uh, that is a special sticker. So you want to get that? Okay, please do it. So I'm sure there are pupils who are create who are what do you call that? They they want to win, you know. They want to win more stickers, so they will eventually they will take part and be more active. So if one or two they're active, the rest will follow suit. Yes, because towards the end of the year already now, yeah. So we actually want them to participate more. We want to get more responses. We are giving them PBD. You can do PBD at the same time. Okay. You can do PPD at the same time. You know who is who has been very active in class, who's speaking, who has been the uh, the one who pass up the work and things like that. Okay, thank you, uh, City. All right. So um, we are going to accept another two questions, huh, Doctor. Okay. okay. Um. Okay. This one is from Madam Mahadevi. What about students who can't join the Google class um, but has been sharing answers in WhatsApp, primary pupils? Yes, you can give give it to them, the virtual rewards. Okay? It's a kind of, uh, they have complement, you know, they have finished a, a task. Give it to them, the virtual reward. Put it, add on the stickers in their platform, the name there. So put it there. All right. Okay. Now, this one is from Madam Rita. How to make people to have virtual lunch with a teacher where else they are rushing to the next le uh, lesson uh, period? Yes, during lunchtime. When you are eating, they are eating as well, right? One to two o'clock during lunchtime. So let's have it together, not immediately after your class. Yes, it can be during the lunchtime, your break time. Yeah. All yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, as I said, um, we are not having the lunch all together, so be selective. Okay, anyone of you, if you are free at uh, 1 o'clock later, please join teacher, five of you, okay, five of you, let's join. Have a virtual lunch together. Okay, last one, last one from Madam Ko, uh, Madam or Mr, okay? Ko, uh, Madam, I think, okay? Ko Raja, how do I reward fairly when parents are the, uh, the one giving answers or helping kids to read? It's like everything done by parents for few kids and they come first, especially quizzes. Yeah, we have this situation. So how, doctor? Yeah, uh, you look at the consistency. Yes, consistency. Is it every time? Is it every single time the parents are around to help? So you know your pupils well. You know them. Okay. Sometimes, yeah, you you know, you know, suddenly this uh, pupil, the, the standard is that this, suddenly it's like so high, you know, wow, you know, first in class in answering the quizy, you know, first, second in the rank. So you know something is going on. So you just take note on that and you do that again. So that is for your own observation, your own judgment. Yeah on their pupils. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Tepe Ling, and to all the viewers for participating, for um, joining our webinar. Thank you very much. So, dear viewers, we have completed today's session. So, congratulations to those who are able to follow our session till the end. Thank you very much to our presenters. 
Madam Tevi and also Dr. Teh Pei Ling for the interesting sessions. And we would like to invite all of you for our next webinar, session two, tentatively on the 11th of September, which is about two weeks from now. And you can also click subscribe and the bell button so that you won't miss out the notification. All right, we will going to share the certificate link at the chat box if it's ready. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. That, that's one more slide after that one. Oh, okay. I'm Can so I finish sorry. up in, in that one? <laughs> okay. Uh, it's not closing that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> one last slide. Yes. Thank ah, you. Ah, this one. Yes. Yes, I like this because uh, thank you, teachers, for bringing our classroom home. This is very meaningful. Okay, you are the one. Yeah, you are the one bringing change to the classroom. We are having our virtual classroom now, online classes, and you are the one going to bring uh, changes, improve, improvement in our students, in our pupils. So, teacher, bravo! Thank you, teachers. Stay, stay safe. And signing off, I really at the end now. I'm Dr. Tay. <laughs> Bye. All right, let me check the slide. Okay, no more slides. Okay, confirm this time around. Okay. All right, so let's bring up our control host. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let me see where are we now. Okay, we have shared the certificate link at the chat box. The link will only be active for 30 minutes only. Um, great appreciation again to our officers, Puan Yasmin, Binti Kamarudin, Timbalan Pegawai Pendidikan Daerah Sektor Pembelajaran, PPD Petaling Perdana and Puan Nurlina Un Abdullah, Pegawai SISC Plus Bahasa Sektor Pembelajaran PPD Petaling Perdana, and to the presenters, Dr. Tepeling and also Madam Tevi for today's session. So for the teachers, especially from PPD Petaling Perdana, if you would like to um, become one of the presenters, okay, you can uh, let me know, Puan Amadi, so that we can set the schedule when are you going to present it's just going to be about 30 minutes session 20 to 30 minutes session we would love you to join us okay all right i think that's all oh yeah yeah one more today's control host in the studio puan nur fazila othman for making sure the smoothness of the program thank you very much okay madam tevi thank you so i think that's all that's from all now, from now? Okay. okay, do we have anything else? Fazila? Uh, no, I already shared the link. All right. Okay, and we will see you in another all, session. All we, are, we women are used to Okay, thank you and goodbye everybody. Bye.